hello YouTube today's example is based on name base classifier so uh, let's look at this example so suppose you are given a training set uh, for the play tennis right and you're given certain data this and this okay, certain data and you need to uh, predict for this an unseen sample okay you have to predict the class for these unseen sample right so how we approach this first of all how we what we do is you find the distinct attributes from each column right so what are the distinct attributes from the first column you can see sunny overcast and rain these three are the distinct attributes from the first column okay now you need to find the distinct attributes from the second column which is hard mild and cool right now we will find the distinct attributes from the third column that is high normal and um, yeah the next is windy just two distinct attributes false and true and this is the class right which is no and yes so what we need to do we have been given a certain sample rain hot high and false and we need to find that it belongs to which class either it belongs to yes class or it belongs to the no class okay so how we approach it is first we need to find the probability of each distinct attribute with each class like what are the distinct attributes in the first column you can see it is sunny overcast and rain okay so what we need to do is we will find for probability for each distinct attributes with respect to the class right so for sunny and yes probability for the sunny and yes we'll calculate this way as follows so sunny and yes we need to find out these two data in the column so where is sunny and yes sunny no sunny no work has yes um, there is no sunny yes in the first page let's see over here sunny yes so we got one attribute for sunny yes and sunny yes we got two attributes okay so and how many yes are there it's total one two three four five six seven eight and nine nine yes are there okay so what we do so total nine yes are there and sunny and yes in both the columns there are two okay so there will be two by nine the probability will be two by nine so probability of yes probability of yes is nine because there are nine yes in this class okay and there are 14 total 14 data in the training set like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay so probability of yes in this training set will be 9 by 14 because there are 9 yeses uh, from the total 14 data okay and there are 5 no from the total 14 records okay there are 5 no values from the 14 records okay so what we do is we will find the probability of each attribute each distinct attribute with respect to the class right the probability of sunny with yes will be 2 by 9 probability of sunny with no will be 3 by 5 how so what we see over here we have to see that is there sunny and no yeah one sunny no two sunny no three okay so here it is three okay and how many no's are there five how many no's are there one two three four and five okay so here it will be five okay so here it means that total number of no in this record and total number of sunny with no okay in this whole record 
so we will write here it as 3 by 5 okay similarly we will calculate for each and every column okay first we will calculate for outlook sunny with yes overcast with yes rain with yes sunny with no overcast with no and rain with no and then we will calculate for each of the columns for temperature for humidity for windy and for the class temperature humidity windy okay not for class temperature humidity and windy okay now with the help of the results obtained from this we will calculate the class for an unseen sample y okay so probability of y with yes dot probability of yes suppose we predict the value the class as yes so we will find the probability p of rain with yes p of hot with yes high with yes and p of false with yes and dot p of yes so where we can obtain this value we can obtain this value from here right p of rain with yes 3 by 9 okay similarly for every value we can obtain it from here and then we calculate the probability we get it okay similarly we will calculate for unseen sample y with yes now similarly we can calculate for unseen sample y with no and we'll get this probability now in order to find that this sample belongs to which class that what must be the class either it be yes or no we have to compare the probabilities this one and this one okay now we have to compare which of these two probabilities are greater okay this means uh, this will be classified as no why because this value is greater than this value okay so the probability so the class for this sample will be no okay so that's it for this video share and subscribe see you all